last thing we're going to talk about is how to create your design. So you're going to do two designs. We'll choose one of the two. I already have the outline of one of my forms drawn here. Um, I'm going to draw the other one. And remember there is in eBackpack an image that provides um, examples of good coil pot forms and not good coil pot form. So you can take another look at that if you want. Okay, my first one is just a cylinder and my second one is kind of like a vase. Eh, kind of looks like a beaker. Um, so, if you're going to do rows, you're just going to draw out what each row would look like. Okay, so here's two coils. What's my next row going to look like? Maybe I'm going to do all spirals. Okay. Do I want rows that are consistent height across or do I want um, different size spirals so that my coil kind of flows over it? So these are all pretty much the same. So on top of my spirals I'm going to have uh, three coils. Then I'm going to change it a little bit. I'm going to do a disc and a spiral, and a disc and a spiral, and a disc and a spiral. And then I'm going to do two coils. Okay, so you start with the outline and then you fill in what the design is going to look like. Okay, now obviously. Yours can be whatever, whatever you're imagining it, whatever you want it to be. Um, but remember, repetition does help to create unity. So you might not want every row to be something different. You might not want to have the bottom all be coils and the top to be whoops, all decoration because that's just going to feel a little unbalanced. Um, however, we did look at the example where the student really created a focal point by just having all of her decorative elements kind of in the center. Okay, and so on until your design is done. Okay, now if you're going to do more of the organic free flowing kind, um, you're still going to have a, a, a plan. Your plan just might change as you're working. Okay, You're kind of going to respond to how the form is taking shape and then kind of decide where you might need to put another element. So your coils are going to flow and travel over the things that you're adding. So there's kind of a big dip here. Okay, and I'm just going to keep building, keep adding until my vessel is kind of complete up here. All right, but I think this is where I'm going to stop because I think you probably get the idea about now. So you're going to have two. You'll show them both to me and we'll decide uh, which one you like and I'll give you any suggestions.